Rum and Gil, welcome to episode 63 of the 10,000 Trades Show, where we are mastering trading and creating excellence through the deliberate practice and analysis of 10,000 Trades. In this episode, we will take a look at market correlations once again. So some of the correlations we are interested in are between Aussie and gold and Canadian and oil. In this episode, we will take a look at Canadian dollar and oil. We'll understand how they are related, what drives the Canadian dollar price. And a lot of times you will see that when Canadian dollar moves, it's because the oil is moving as well, because they are directly related. So let's go to the charts and we will see where to enter the trade, where to place our stop loss and how do we exit the trade with a profit. Today we are looking at market correlation between dollar cad and the oil. The benefit of understanding market correlations is that you can identify the trade in one chart and then perhaps go and take it in the other chart or you get a clue to entering the trade prior to the trade sets up in the currency pair. So in this case, we would be looking at our oil chart. And once we see that the price is turning in the oil chart, we can then come to our dollar CAD chart and take that trade. Let me explain. So here we have on March the first, actually from the 28th here, we see that the price starts to go sideways. Price goes up a bit, drops, and then here it just becomes sideways and we have this support and resistance area so finally on march 7th the price tries to push up and we get a pin bar on the one hour chart so if we take a look at our dollar cad chart here as we can see for from march 2nd here third price is just kind of sitting around it's range bound as well just like the oil price on march the 8th here we see a nice bush bullish engulfing candle here if we go back to our oil chart, you will see that on March 7th here, this is where we saw the pin bar on the one hour chart and also a bearish engulfing candle that followed the pin bar. So this is a very strong indication that the price is very likely to move to the downside. So if the oil price moves down, that means US dollar CAD will actually move in the opposite direction. So it will move to the upside. Going back to our dollar CAD chart here, same thing on March 7th here, we see the price is still range bound. It starts to push up, but it hasn't broken out. So the oil gives us an indication that it's ready to move out prior to dollar CAD. That's why we can look at an oil chart and then trade dollar CAD following the oil chart. So going back to our dollar CAD here on the March the 7th, we get the indication that oil is likely to drop on March 8th we see a trade set up in our dollar cad here we see a nice bullish engulfing candle price is not able to break the low here it just starts to trade sideways and then we get a higher high here and another higher high so this kind of gives us an indication that price is starting to push back up now and we had price starting to move down in oil. Once we have those two things and we get a bullish engulfing candle like this, a strong bullish candle, we can take an entry right there. Our stop loss would go on other side of this range here. So right underneath here and we take the trade long. So we stay with the trade here, even though this goes sideways here, it's still bullish. It's holding the high. So chances are it's it's going to go higher which it does and then finally we see pin bar a bearish pin bar followed by another bearish pin bar so this is a good reversal signal time to get out of the trade so we can exit the trade here from entry to exit here we have 95 pips in the trade so 950 dollars in profit if trading one standard lot so just to recap here, we are understanding the market correlation between US dollar CAD and oil. If the oil price moves down, dollar CAD will move in the opposite direction. So dollar CAD will move up. In this case, we see that the price goes sideways for the oil and 
for dollar cat as well then finally on march 7th here we get a bearish signal that tells us that price is likely to move lower and it does on the oil chart so the following day we get the signal on our dollar cat chart we do see that the price is slowly pushing up it's making higher highs and combining that with our bullish engulfing candle on the one hour chart here that's a good indication it's going to um, it's likely to start moving upward so so we take our entry on the close of this candle here and we stay with the trade till we get a good reversal signal in the opposite direction so here we have two pin bars on the one hour chart which is a good indication that uh, maybe the price won't go higher now so we exit the trade from entry to exit 95 pips in the trade or $950 if trading one standard lot I do have a special announcement to make I'm launching a new course called demystifying forex fundamentals one of the things that I've noticed is a lot of uh, retail traders we don't understand the fundamentals too well I know most people look at the Forex factory news however most people I find do not have a good understanding of what the news means and how the news drives the market over the years I have picked up a lot of concepts through different courses I've taken and also through my MBA so I feel like this is something that's missing in the market at this point and to rectify that situation I am launching the a course called demystifying forex fundamentals and in this course I will be going over not just the COT that I normally talk about in my weekly analysis but I would also be talking about how to gauge market sentiment I will be looking at how to understand the news reports that come out what does CPI mean what's GDP and how does that impact the markets how do the interest rate decisions impact the market we'll also be looking at leading indicators and and what these indicators are and how we can use them to make better trades we'll look at intermarket correlations as well as currency correlations we'll take a look at how to use equities to trade forex as well as options data uh, to take better trades in forex we'll take a look at us dollar index as well as we'll take a look at different country profiles and also looking at what impacts their currencies and we'll also take a look at carry trades so the price for this course will be $397 the course starts on April 1st 2017 however I am doing a pre-launch right now and if you would like to register for this course at this moment the price is at $250 which it will go up in a week for more information about the course, please visit tradingwithvenus.com forward slash fundamentals. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe below. It's been a pleasure sharing this trade with you. I will be back in the next episode with another great trade setup.